All right, what's up, you guys? I am here with the 2011 WWE pay-per-view DVD collection. So let's start it out with the Royal Rumble 2011. Um, we have a similar cover to the 2014 one, and you know this one's a little more organized. And uh, you basically just have their pictures, um, and they're all taped together there. So that's pretty cool. And this is to this day the only 40-man Royal Rumble, won by Del Rio. And then you have Edge versus Dolph Ziggler in a surprisingly um, good match that they actually gave him the time they needed and actually let them have a good match, so that's good. And then you have The Miz versus Randy Orton for the WWE title, and then a fatal four-way match for the Divas title. And there's your discard. Overall, not a bad event. Um, yeah, I think they should bring back the Royal Rumble, the 40-man Rumble, if they can actually do it correctly. Because it was interesting. And then we have Elimination Chamber 2011. This is Edge's final pay-per-view cover. For his career ended. And then we have two chamber matches. One for the number one contenders. For the WWE title. And then one for the World Heavyweight title. And then we have The Miz versus Jerry the King Lawler. We have Kofi Kingston and Del Rio. And then your tag team titles. And the special feature, you get a promo by John Cena and The Rock. And then there's your disc art. Overall, it's not a bad pay-per-view. It's, it's your basic Elimination Chamber, you know. Nothing too special about it. And speaking of nothing too special, we have WrestleMania 27. Uh, now, this is the three-disc edition, obviously. Get the slip cover off. I meant for it to fall that way, but whatever. We have um, Triple H and The Undertaker up top there. You have the fireworks in the background. And then John Cena, The Rock, and The Miz. You have your logo. Obviously, this was in Atlanta in the Georgia Dome. We have Undertaker and Triple H, obviously, in their No Holds Barred match. You have Randy Orton and CM Punk. We have Edge's final match against Del Rio. I, don't, I actually don't think it was his final match. I think he had a house show. But his final... Um, mainstream match. Put that up there. You have John Cena and The Miz there. You know, this WrestleMania, obviously, it did not work. We all know that. But, you know, it still segued into WrestleMania 28. That's pretty much all this was. It was just a way to advertise WrestleMania 28, unfortunately. Um, but you did have a good Hall of Fame. You had um, the Road Warriors, Shawn Michaels... Hacksaw Jim Duggan, um, Abdul the Butcher, Sonny, you know, Sonny, she deserves it, but Abdul the Butcher, you know, he definitely contributed a lot to the business, but I know it's very questionable whether or not he actually deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, but WrestleMania 27, it is what it is, um, at least it's not as bad as, in my opinion, it's not as bad as, like, WrestleMania 9 or 11, but... Next up, we have Extreme Rules 2011. Uh, this is more famous for the night that John Cena announced the death of Osama Bin Laden. That's really all this is known for. But you had a triple threat steel cage match with The Miz, John Cena, and John Morrison as your main event. You had Christian finally winning the world title, only to have it taken away a few days later. Which did piss me off. And then we had Randy Orton and CM Punk in a last man standing match. Falls Count Anywhere, Rey Mysterio and Cody Rhodes. After their great match at WrestleMania. There's your disc art. Alright, Over the Limit 2011. I always thought this was a pretty cool cover. You have Daniel Bryan and The Miz there. And this is the second Over the Limit pay-per-view. We had Rey Mysterio and R-Truth. Your tag team titles were on the line. Wade Barrett and Ezekiel Jackson. A Kiss My Foot match, Michael Cole versus Jerry Lawler. Randy Orton versus Christian, and probably one of my favorite feuds ever. I think it's very underrated. And then you have John Cena versus The Miz in an I Quit match. So there's your disc artwork. Overall, over the limit, it was never really that good of a pay per view, but I think this is better than 2010. Um. That's just solely my opinion, though. Alright, Capital Punishment 
2011. This is the only capital punishment pay-per-view under that name. You have John Cena on the front here. Now, yeah, this is just words can't even describe. You have Kofi Kingston versus Dolph Ziggler. Alex Riley versus The Miz. Big Show and Del Rio. You have Wade Barrett and Zico Jackson again. You have Evan Bourne and Jack Swagger. Ray Mysterio and CM Punk. And then you have John Cena versus R-Truth for the WWE title. And then you also do have Christian and Randy Orton once again. I think they had four straight pay-per-view matches, which is actually a really long rivalry, which is, I like that, you know? If you can milk it out, you might as well milk it out as long as you can make it good, you know? Yeah, nothing more needs to be said about that. Instead, let's talk about this. Money in the Bank 2011, one of the greatest pay-per-views of all time. This is the simplest way you could say it. You have CM Punk here in Chicago um, against John Cena in a five-star match. You also had Randy Orton and Christian um, continuing the rivalry. Two Money in the Bank matches, one by Del Rio and Daniel Bryan. And then you had Big Show and Mark Henry, and it's an okay match. Um, but, you know, this pay-per-view is known for CM Punk's win. You know, this kicked off... Well, the pipe bomb kicked off the summer of Punk, but this really... Like, made it global, you know. Made it an extremely famous angle. And, like I said, segued into the summer of punk. And then, continuing on here, we have champion versus champion to determine the undisputed champion. John Cena and CM Punk once again with special guest referee Triple H. And this was when Kevin Nash came in. And it's just, I did not like the finish of this pay per view. But you also had the final No Holds Barred match with Christian and Randy Orton. Very good match uh, to kind of finish it all off. You had Sheamus and Mark Henry, Daniel Bryan and Wade Barrett. Uh, let's see, a six-man tag match down there. And, you know, this SummerSlam, there's nothing really special about it. But it's still not a bad SummerSlam. It beats 2010 any day. I mean, throw a rock, you'll beat something that beats 2010, but... Alright, Night of Champions 2011. You have um, Triple H versus CM Punk. Uh, the burial of CM Punk, as I like to call it. Randy Orton versus Mark Henry. And Del Rio versus John Cena for the WWE title. I always could never stand this cover. Uh, it just It's just not my cup of tea. That's really all there is to it. Um, you had tag team titles, you had the IC title with Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase. U.S. title on the line, obviously every title's on the line. Then there's your disc art. Next up we have Vengeance 2011. A major spoiler cover there. But it's actually a very cool cover, I actually really like it. Um, you know, most of the time I don't really like spoiler covers, but I really like this one. I think it's cool. But we have uh, Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton for the, uh, um, I don't know if it's for the IC title, it just says Intercontinental Champion Cody Rhodes versus Randy Orton, so I'm assuming it's not in title. Uh, we have Dolph Ziggler and Zack Ryder, Sheamus versus Christian, tag team titles, and then you have Mark Henry versus Big Show, which broke the ring, Triple H and CM Punk versus The Miz and R-Truth, and then a last man standing match between Del Rio and John Cena inside the ring that was broken so i kind of like how they did that and then you have mark henry on the discard there next up we have hell in a cell 2011 with john cena on the cover a flaming john cena and um this is where you had your triple threat hell in a cell match with john cena cm punk and del rio you also had sheamus and christian cody rhodes versus john morrison for the ic title Air Boom versus Dolph Ziggler and Jack Swagger. And then Mark Henry versus Randy Orton in probably one of the most bland Hell in a Cell matches for the world title. And then you have your disc artwork. Not a huge fan of the disc artwork either. I'm not really a fan of any of the artwork on this. I mean, the back's decent enough, but not good enough. And then we have Survivor Series, Never Before, Never Again. We have John Cena and The Rock 
Coming back to Madison Square Garden to face our truth and Miz. We also have Mark Henry versus Big Show once again for the world title. You have your traditional Survivor Series matches, obviously, which actually weren't bad. And then you have the kickoff to CM Punk's 494 day title reign against um, Alberto Del Rio. So it's very cool. Maybe it's 394. Yeah, it'd be 394, yeah. I knew it was 94 something, yeah, 394 days. And then you have the disc art, which is really cool. I really like that disc art. Very nice, like just the red in the middle and then fades. I like that. And finally, we got our ice cream bars with CM Punk TLC 2011. I almost went to this pay-per-view, but I never did. Um, you have, I'm kind of glad I didn't, um, honestly. We have a tables match, Randy Orton versus Wade Barrett. You have Cody Rhodes versus Booker T for the IC title, no joke. Dolph Ziggler versus Zack Ryder. And then you have a chairs match, Mark Henry versus Big Show. And then we have a sledgehammer ladder match, Triple H versus Kevin Nash. I hate everything about that, honestly. And then CM Punk versus Del Rio versus The Miz in a triple threat um, TLC match. Doesn't say TLC match though, it just says WWE Championship match. And then there's your ice cream bar. Love that discard. That's so cool. I'm a CM Punk guy though, so. And then there's your cover. Awesome cover. One of my favorites. So, there you have it. Your um, 2011 pay per view collection. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.